and bringing it to the House, Kiamutu Keiraro. I call the Honourable Leanne Dalzell. Mr Speaker, I just want to speak briefly uh, to the introduction of the Joint Family Homes Repeal Bill um, and, and, and also join in, in the spirit, I guess, of um, uh, in hoping that there will be a similar response to my private member's bill, which is next on the order paper, um, to say that we will certainly support this to our select committee. Um, it does raise uh, an issue that has been dealt with substantially by the Law Commission, and so therefore it's a very good bill um, uh, for the member to be introducing. I think I heard him say that the first time he went down for a ballot uh, was the first time you know, that he had it drawn. And I just say, well, congratulations to that member. I've been here a very long time. Uh, I don't often get uh, bills on the order paper, but I have got one next, and I do hope that um, I'm able to encourage members on that side of the House to um, support it, at least a select committee. Sure, it, it's, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. On every level, he's, he's scored at 100%. I just thought that I would note uh, for the record um, what uh, others have uh, mentioned, and, and not to traverse the ground about where the legislation originally came from, but simply to comment on the one remaining element of protection that it does offer, and that's protection against creditors. Um, and when one looks, though, at the detail of the Law Commission report around that remaining protection, it actually is um, more stated than real. So the, it is less of substance in terms of a remaining uh, protection. Um, in terms of the uh, rights and, and spouses or the survivor, um, they are protected from bankruptcy and execution, um, but the rights of secured creditors remain unaffected. So it really isn't uh, quite a substantial um, uh, protection. And the other thing is, is that the specified sum, which is fixed from time to time by order and council, uh, is currently $82,000 for the joint family home, um, an amount that was fixed in 1996. So, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know that there are many places where uh, one can purchase a house for $82,000 or anywhere near it, but I certainly know that property prices have been increasing in Christchurch uh, quite considerably, having been recently in the property market myself. Um, and I think that, um, and, and, and this is just going back in my, my memory, but I seem to think that we, we, we signed up for a joint family home on the basis that you just signed up for a joint family home, there really wasn't any substantial reason um, for so doing. So I think that the time for uh, this legislation um, to stay on our books is uh, probably uh, gone, and that's certainly the conclusion that the Law, Law Commission um, reached in, in December 2001. So I congratulate the member on his success and look forward to some uh, positive support for my private member's bill, which is next on the order paper. <laughs> I call the Honourable Member 